Now there's a chance for the Cherries with Cliver, who's got Ian Botman here. Cliver in on the edge of the penalty, rolls it square for Dominic Solanke on his left foot. Poor finish, straight at the goalkeeper. Dubravka saves it, but it was too easy for him. And that is a golden opportunity that has passed Bournemouth by at St James's Park. That is clinic. That's where it should be clinical, isn't it? Should Cliver? I thought, why didn't he take it on one more touch across the face of uh, of the player behind him? I think it was Bernard in behind him. And he's on goal. Four on the left-hand side. That it's surprising to see the communication problems as Semenyo has it again. Now Ryan Christie just outside the box. Does well to hurdle the challenge to share. Left-hand side, driven across by Tavernier. Solanke denied by a brilliant save by Dubravka. And it's a second golden opportunity that Bournemouth haven't taken. Solanke's inside the six-yard box, dead centre, and somehow Dubravka's kept it I out. I don't know if you have to say how did he miss it or how did he save it. Surely, I mean, he, he got a connection on it towards goal. It's just hit the keeper. But Dominic Solanke has had two opportunities here inside the penalty area, inside the first 24 minutes. <laughs> Botman under pressure from Solanke, goes back to his keeper. Oh! Dubravka who slips, and Solanke taps it in! And maybe that's been coming all game, Dubravka! has looked very shaky, he slipped at the crucial moment and Dom Solanke is there for his 14th goal of the season and it is a mistake that opens up the game, it is Newcastle nil, Bournemouth 1. Well look, it's an accident been waiting to happen, this in both ends, both goalkeepers take passes and they try to have a little touch away from them, that time, I don't know if it's the rain or, or the football gods that have helped us, but it's a tap-in for Dominic. Well, it's the ball back to the goalkeeper on the left side of his six-show box. He's taken a touch out of his feet and then just completely slipped over. And Solanke... Long ball to the far post as a Newcastle player down, shares on the floor. Appeals from him, VAR be checking in the background. Bournemouth, there is a flag up actually here. There's an offside flag against the uh, Newcastle front line eventually. And Cherry's clear it away. I didn't see quite what they were appealing for in the first instance. Well, as someone ended up on the floor. Yeah, I think it's just, well, everybody jumped for it. Yeah, it's Newcastle nil, Bournemouth 1, Dom Solanke with the goal, but a lengthy VAR check against the Cherries here for some sort of shirt-pulling well, infringement. How many minutes is that? Well, referee Salisbury is moving away from the crowd of players. So we're now seeing a replay where we've now got a static shot here of from a different angle from behind the goal. So this is what they've been trying to do. Trying to work out, first of all, if it's onside. Well, we're getting... Uh, and the referee is going to the monitor, Willow. You, you said that. So, I mean, what we've just seen on the, on the monitor we've got here is totally inconclusive. So remember, it's got to be conclusive evidence that there is a foul that the referee has missed here. So he's jogged over to the far side here. Neto is having a bit of a scuffle with some players inside the six-yard box off the ball. Referee Michael Salisbury is watching a replay here of what's gone on in the penalty area. Don't forget, most referees usually go with the VAR decision to say, we think this is a penalty. He's still watching replays here. This will be a penalty against the Cherries. You might remember last season, Willow, the Cherries got a penalty given against them against Jefferson Lerma for a questionable handball decision. This is one of those where the referee looks like he's been sort of... He's now going to blow his whistle. What's happening here? He's given the penalty. Well, incredible. The opposition went up the other end and scored. It's Anthony Gordon from the penalty spot in front of the Gallagher end, away to our right, up against Neto. Gordon scores, equalises, 1-1. And now if the Cherries feel that's an unjust award of a penalty, this is where their psychology and the mental strength comes in, 1-1. Yeah, you're absolutely right. This is where they've got to be really strong in character. Down this left-hand side, Solanke, uh, Kelly rather, spins away, left-hand side in towards Solanke, good first touch, and then hammer oh, over the bar chance. by the on-rushing Clivert, who clouted it with his right foot, but rising and over the top. Oh, we're right behind it. Anything low into the corner, it's a goal. Just too much pace on it. Great knockback by Dominic. Good link-up between Solanke and Clivert. 
Firm challenge from Trippier, but it's run loose for Christie. Room for Tavernier. Left side of the penalty area. He's got Lloyd Kelly on the overlap if he wants him. Two against one on Trippier. Tavernier uses the space, goes oh. for goal and blazes it high off target. That engineered the situation really well. Lloyd Kelly had got up with Tavernier to just distract Trippier, open up the space for Tavernier, who blazed his shot over the bar. Oh. Numbers are obviously pretty good out there at the moment. Bournemouth have lost it, Almiron knocks it through looking for Gordon, Neto's coming to no man's land, but he's recovered the situation. That's got to go down, as great goalkeeping Neto, but it was panic stations for a second, he was right out on the edge of his box, Gordon tried to go round him, Neto clutched the ball as he did so. Whether it was the right decision to come charging out, I think is up for debate. Bournemouth have got it, Solanke to the right-hand side and Semenyo, cool. he's got a chance to square up Dan cool. Burn here. Semenyo around the outside, right-footed shot, yes! Oh, yes! Anton Semenyo scores! Bottom left-hand corner, direct, got it Dan Burn. drilled it with his right foot. Dubravka diving to his right, couldn't get there. And Bournemouth restore their lead with 22 minutes remaining. Yeah. Newcastle 1, Bournemouth 2. No more than we deserve that, absolutely fantastic play. As soon as he got on the ball, I fancied him to strike it with that right foot, we've seen him do it before. Hard and low, past the keeper into the far corner. Fantastic goal. Well, Solanke on the centre spot, it was the one who spread the ball to the right-hand side, so he will get yet another goal involvement, Dom Solanke. But Solanke just ran at Burn, took him on the outside onto his right foot, and he's still on the edge of the penalty area, Willow, but he's actually fired the shot away. Now they try and make the incisive pass, Newcastle, Kelly slipped, right across goal, and there is the equaliser, stabbed in from close range, and it is Matt Ritchie, can you believe it? The former Cherry striker has only been on the field a minute, it was nearly an own goal, and it added time at the end of the game, the former Cherries man celebrates vociferously in front of the Gallagher end, boots the corner flag, and he's just stabbed the Cherries, possibly out of three points. That's it, guys, I've